Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and in today's quick tip video I'm going to be showing you how you can view your iCloud Drive on the home screen. Now this is a new iOS 9 feature and what it allows you to do is um, sort of have a centralised place for iCloud Drive. Now this is a feature that's been requested by quite a few people since the introduction of iCloud Drive. Apple have finally added it so if you click on settings I've already um, you know, put um, navigate to the screen. Obviously, I didn't want to um, reveal any personal details, which um, would have been revealed. But the way to get to this screen is simply by opening settings, scrolling down, clicking on iCloud, um, then clicking on iCloud Drive, and then um, you'll come up to this screen. So, at the moment, I've got it turned on. I'm just going to turn it off quickly. And if I go to my home screen and slide over, as you can see, there is no um, sort of app for iCloud Drive is just the standard apps that I've got. However, if I go into settings again, click show on home screen and go home now. If I go to my next page, as you can see, I've got iCloud Drive. Now, again, for personal reasons, I'm not going to go into the app. However, if I went into here, I'd get an interface that I'd um, f find similar to something like on the Mac. So this will just give me a view of all my documents, well, it's not just documents, all my items in iCloud Drive, whether or not they can be opened on the iPhone or not, they'll all be there. Obviously if they can't be opened on the iPhone, I will be notified about that if I try clicking on it. And if I click on a anything inside this app, it will um, let me open it if, there's, if my iPhone has an app that can open it, otherwise it will tell me on the screen that I can't open it, and obviously I'll go on my Mac or if my iPad's got a different app that can open it or something like that. So that's a very quick tip on how you can sort of view your iCloud Drive in a centralised location on your home screen. If you've got any comments or questions, do submit them below this video or get in contact with me. The contact information will be up at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.